Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump, one month in. By Washington Examiner. It's been decades since Washington has experienced a month as frantic, breathless, and head spinning as the first month of the Trump administration. It's sometimes been difficult to tell what's actually happening, and to put things in perspective. Partly because Washington's news media have gotten so many stories wrong, and partly because politicians of both parties have overreacted to every move by the other side. So it's crucial to take a step back and review President Trump's job performance by looking at what he has actually done, not merely what the media said he was doing, or what minority leader Nancy Pelosi warned he was going to do someday. Ironically, the two entwined themes of Trump's first turbulent month have been predictability and hyperactivity. Trump has done what he promised to do, and behaved, for better and worse, as he has always behaved. For conservatives, the most important moment of Trump's first month was his nomination of Judge Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. This is a real, substantive and excellent step that, in many a presidency, would by itself mark the first month as a success. Trump's promise to pick a justice in the mold of Scalia, and his list of 21 candidates was crucial to his winning the election. This was the convincing factor for countless conservatives. And Trump delivered. Gorsuch isn't just a conservative judge, a vague term. He is brilliant and careful in his reasoning, and crystal clear in his writing. His rulings have shown him faithful to the Constitution and attentive to the letter of the law. On religious liberty, Gorsuch has been a pioneer in broadening individual liberties and narrowing state power. He will be confirmed. There's reason to hope he'll not only be a conservative vote on the court, but a force to draw the jurisprudentially meandering Justice Anthony Kennedy to the right side in some instances. Opponents of abortion were among the most thrilled by the Gorsuch pick. They were also hardened by Trump sending Vice President Mike Pence to speak at the March for Life. Trump's other appointments have generally been strong, especially the sober, experienced and universally respected Jim Mattis as Secretary of Defense, along with Mick Mulvaney, a fiscal conservative, to the Office of Management and Budget, and the crusading Scott Pruitt to the Environmental Protection Agency. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.